Hey guys, Emily from Create86 here. Tonight I'm doing a what I've learned from planning video. Um, so, I'm going to show you what's in my Fedori and let's get started. Um, I've learned, this is my first insert, this is my planner insert. I've learned that I, this is my second insert, which is my brain dump insert. I've learned that I have to do a brain dump at least once a week. This is my brain dump. This is what a blank one looks like. I made these on Word, really simple, just printed them out and they're just being held on by, and I even added some like newspaper, um, real thin paper, some extra, and it's just being held on by the elastic. So I need to do a brain dump at least once a week. And this is like not even good handwriting. I'll show you an example of some good handwriting, but it doesn't need to be neat in my brain dump. The next thing is I try to week on two pages and um, I prefer a week on one page. So this is my week on one page setup in my Fedori. Um, I just picked this because it's blank. You can see, here's another blank one. This is for 2015, February. Um, and I prefer it just because it takes up less space. Um, I know it'll be less decorating to do, but I'm okay with like this one piece of washi tape and a cute, few cute little stickers and any sticky notes that I might need because I'm definitely using a lot of sticky notes in here. For a file of facts, um, because I use a file of facts as well, I would prefer a A5 instead of personal for daily planning. Um, there's more room and my writing, as you can see, is pretty big. Um, so actually here's an example of what my writing would look like. It's pretty big and that's college ruled writing. So these are relatively small boxes that I made, but, um, and they do look full at the end of the week. Everything is definitely full. Dog are being crazy. Sheldon, no. Be a good boy. Good girl. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, I also realized that I need my business and personal planning to be separate. I'm using my Fedori for business planning and my personal and my personal file facts for personal planning. This just gives me room so I can have my brain dump and my planning all in one spot. Um, I do need some type of decorations to keep my attention and like cute sticky notes and stickers to make it nice to look at. Um, and it gives me variety instead of just white paper with pen. That would really bore me. So you can see I do decorate little things and I use plenty of sticky notes. This is just blocking out other stuff. Um, but it, these are some of my favorite sticky notes from Target. They stick really well. Um, so I do like to decorate with sticky notes and stuff like that, especially since it's fall. I got some really cute ones from the Target dollar spot. Back to this. Um, writing in my planner needs to be neat, but not in my brain dump. So we're back to that. Um, you can see I do have relatively neat writing. I am left-handed. Um, I like to keep it neat. And back to my brain dump again. Not neat at all. Definitely not neat. I'm just scribbling down things like I'm hearing a song on the radio and I'm writing down what I want to buy and stuff like that. No question, um, planning since March has kept my tasks organized. And I had never kept an organizer or a planner before that because I felt like I could remember it all on my own and I constantly forgot key dates and projects I needed to do, whether it be in high school or college or elementary school where they give you your agendas. I never used it, which was a complete waste of money, but I would write like the first week in and then I would just never use it again because when I was in college and high school, I brought every single book with me that I would need throughout the day, and I never ever once used my locker in high school. 
So for four years, I carried around every single book that I would need every single day. Needless to say, I have back issues now, but <clears throat> I didn't feel like my, my high school had 2,500 kids in it, so I didn't want to be running back and forth constantly on this super huge school campus. Um, I also like having my supplies all in one place, so I have been using this, which is from the Dollar Tree. It's by Case Logic, um, which is a really good case company, and leaving my, all my supplies in here. There's some planner stickers, any papers I might need for the week, um, letters, see stuff with sticky notes on it, and then I actually put my entire Fedori in there. And I leave a pen in there most of the time. And if I want some sticky notes, I stick them in there or I leave them in here in the front. There's a bunch of sticky notes. Um, so that's what I've learned from planning that, you know, I can't remember everything and that I should definitely keep everything written down. Um, and it definitely has helped in my business and in, you know, my personal life, not forgetting dates or times that I'm supposed to meet people and stuff like that. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And leave me some comments below. What have you learned from planning? Um, did you come up with something new? Uh, have you been using the same system for a long time? If so, let me know. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys are having a great week. I will see you next week. Bye.